the seven items currently in active development for the MCC that will be coming our way soon. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and make sure to tap subscribe guys to keep yourselves updated with everything going on in the Halo community. So let's get right into the content here. So remember when I said Postman's made a really big dev update that now I need to chop up into multiple pieces so you guys can kind of get digestible inputs of this? Well, this is another part of that update, guys. Link in the description down below if you actually want to go through and read the whole thing. It's actually really important, very informative. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys the seven actively developed things right now in the MCC that are going to be coming for us. These will happen uh, in the near future because uh, uh, we do have a bit of a part of what's also in development and also a part that's kind of in the backlog of not kind of currently worked on but looking to be inputted in eventually. So let's get right into it. So number one here, progression system improvements including challenges. Challenges is an absolutely most important thing I think that 343 could add into the MCC to help add some more longevity when it comes to playing Reach and other games in the MCC. Uh, you know, it's been going around the community quite a bit about a population drop off, which has been a significant amount. Uh, I didn't expect Reach to be like the bring we're bringing back Halo kind of thing, but uh, I was expecting it to hold a good, decent amount of players, which it still is. If you can find matches in your mode, it's still a playable game very much. And I think challenges will help bring, give people more incentive to log on every day to get more XP to grind through that stuff because I think that's a big issue with progression that basically you're kind of just left to just playing the game. And so then uh, just uh, that gets a little repetitive and there's not really much in your control that you can do or ways to mix up your gameplay while playing challenges really helps level even that up. I've been playing some Apex Legends since season four has come out and it kind of gets me excited to play different ways and do different things with daily challenges. Very important. I think it's absolutely paramount that this gets put into the game. Number two, message of the day added to the PC. As you guys know, when you go on the console version of MCC, you get a little message kind of telling you if there's any updates or anything going on with Halo that you should check out. Uh, you don't get that on PC, so we're looking to add that in there. Number three, server ping list on PC. Um, current console, what you currently can do is just go to the settings, check out your pings, and you can see what all the servers that you could possibly connect to and what those pings are. It's very important to know. Uh, I mean, there's not really much you can do about it. It's just kind of nice information to have and something they could probably implement rather easily. So definitely looking forward to having that implemented into the game. UI slash UX improvements around navigation, roster customization, and many more areas of the game for number four, as it's stated in the dev blog update here, guys. Uh, the, right now, the UI to play just the game themselves is pretty good. But to find players, to invite players, to go into their file share, and just everything in between when it comes to player interaction is pretty rough, to say the least. Uh, it's very convoluted, very confusing, uh, especially for me when I'm on the Windows Store playing on PC and I want to try to add somebody on the game but they are on the Steam version. So I'm like, wait, how do I invite you? That's, it's a really confusing process. Um, so everything about playing the games themselves, the UI is pretty good. Everything outside of the playing the games directly, pretty bad actually. And so I'm really glad that we're actively looking into this. So hopefully the next season we get with uh, C Combat Evolved Anniversary coming in, that we will actually see some significant improvements to that. Number five on the list here, push to talk, adding an option to open mic and support for controllers. Uh, they are looking to change the up to where you can actually key bind what push to talk is. I think right now it's hard bound to the V key, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't really use it because um, well, reaching over to press the V key is pretty rough. And, you know, I would really like to rebind it to say that I like to use left alt for my uh, push talk option which I think would be great and also it'd be kind of cool to actually see if they can make it work with controllers if you have like a regular headset plugged into your controller to your PC they also have a talk that's pretty cool I don't think there's any games out there that do that right now if I remember correctly at least from my experience I've never had that happen so uh, very good to have this happen uh, definitely need some push to talk to help give out some better communication open mic please no 
If this is our way that I can like, mute anybody who has open mic, because that would just be awful. I don't need to hear the fan of them playing, running in the background while they play Lil Wayne and their little five-year-old sister or brothers running around screaming their heads off while they're yelling through a connect mic. I don't know. It's just open mics are so annoying. I usually just like to mute everybody because most of the times people online are not the most courteous people. Number six, text chat improvements. Now, this is something I would really like to see. Uh, we did, uh, when we're playing the uh, flights, we did end up giving feedback about removing the chat filter because it was a little too strict. Um, I was okay with it. I thought it was, it was a little too strict as well, but of course then they just completely removed it. And you know what? Some people online are not the most courteous people. Let's just say that. And it's not really that enjoyable to read people being toxic in the chat. If there's a way to turn it off, I'd really appreciate it. Or a way to minimize it or, re or replace it in a different spot as well. That'd be super nice. Uh, right now it's rather intrusive and it's uh, a lot of times I don't really care to see what's in it if there's a way that I can possibly filter out everything maybe for just my squad or just my team that would be nice as well uh, so there's multiple features I would like to see move with uh, the text to chat feature. It's good that it's in the game. I like that it's in the game. Uh, I would like to possibly filter out the way to where I can get the information I just need for text chat. I don't need to have the enemy team yelling at me the whole time. But anyway, so. And lastly, for number seven, stability improvements and bug fixes. As I, there are some people I'm sure out there on PC who are currently having issues with the game crashing. I think I might have had like one crash out of the hours and hours and hours I've played. So probably could have just been my pc and that problem right there but i'm sure there are a lot of people there who have stability issues with different kind of builds as there is literally like an unlimited amount of builds you can make with pc obviously each one's individually going to make its own problems and so that's why this is kind of going to be just like an on going thing but fixing uh, stability as well as bug fixes uh, things like uh, the audio bug that's currently going on the way they encode the audio is a little different and, and I don't expect it to be completely changed as that would be a completely rewriting some legacy code and really slow down the production of very other many other things that would like to be done. Now 343 also added in some midterm design that they're working on and some backlog. So if you want to get the little extra goodies right here, we also have InDesign iterations. We have double keybinds, additional mod support, zooms improvements, additional video and op settings and options, and in-game FPS cap and adjustments. I really would like the FPS caps and double keybinds would be nice uh, because uh, for me right now, it's either unlimited frames or 60 FPS. And I don't want to make my PC work any harder than it has to. Uh, I'm, already, I'm already trying to get the 144 frames on my 144 hertz, 4 hertz monitor. So uh, I wouldn't like to make my PC work any harder than it does. It does seem, I noticed that the frame rate though in the game seems to kind of like jump between different levels as in like it goes from like 60 to like 120 maybe like uh, and fluctuates from there obviously and then sometimes 144 and then kind of fluctuates from there but back down to 120 it seemed like like is it maybe it's just me but maybe it could be like coded in the game where it only does specific F common fps refresh rates i don't know uh, but they also have a backlog of things that are kind of like far off in development that could be coming around later this year but uh, the list that they have is quite extensive, but they have uh, for the current backlog is input-based matchmaking as in controller versus keyboard and mouse matchmaking, regional server selection, which would be really nice, uh, crossplay between Xbox and PC, oh my god, that would be nice, <laughs> Steam account linking, oh my god, that'd be really nice as well, <laughs> uh, variable frame rate improvements, idle system improvements, customization improvements, better ways to report players, bringing PC features to console like FOV sliders, additional accessibility support, and custom game browser. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. <laughs> so there's a lot of things going on with the MCC this year, guys. I'm excited about it, and I cannot wait to see what happens throughout this game. I'm just really afraid that after E3, once we get a big infinite drop, which we're going to have, so if you guys want to keep your infinite news, make sure you tap subscribe to keep you guys up to date with that kind of happenings going on right there. And also uh, with uh, infinite releasing this fall as well, my guess would be most likely in November that we will see uh a lot of things these features in mcc kind of being underappreciated as a lot of people will be hopping over to play halo infinite and because i'm pretty sure mcc and probably halo 5 would be very low population once uh infinite comes around but we'll see what happens i'm hoping that a lot of these features get added into the game hopefully throughout the summer just to kind of keep us 
Halo fans satiated until the release of Halo Infinite in the fall of 2020. But yeah guys, that's everything that's going on with Halo right now for the MCC. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you would like to see added into the MCC. What is your number one thing you'd want to see added into the MCC? Me, personally, I think the number one thing I would really like to see added in would be Xbox and PC crossplay. I think that would be absolutely huge for this game especially for the PC players and for the Xbox players as well. You'd probably, you literally would at least double the player pool of people you can match with, which would really help out with the uh, playlist population and health in this game. Um, but we'll see what happens there, guys. That's my big hope for uh, the game coming out this for this year. And if you guys are new to the channel, we'll see you with everything going on in Halo. Like I mentioned, guys, make sure to tap subscribe. If you're new to the channel or missing any content for me, check out the videos on the screen right now, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.